It's time to do the JP poll. Don't really care about the AP. Don't look at the AP. Don't care about ranking teams. Don't really care about bumping you up if you win or bumping you down if you lose. I don't care about what has happened. I just care about what would be today on a neutral field and not necessarily the outcome. The only thing that JP poll cares about is who would be favored. And you may say, well, what does a point spread have to do with anything? Who cares who would be favored? If you don't care, JP poll's not for you. I have chosen this very specific thing that I'm interested in, and a lot of you will probably have some interest in it. Doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, Texas was a favorite this past week. Did it matter at the end of the day? No. Do favorites win most of the time? Yes, they do. So it means something. It doesn't mean everything. So we do it. Uh, we, get, we get the model here to spit out a top 25 every week. All this is, is who would be favored against who based on this model on a neutral field tomorrow. There will be controversy. Let's dive in. 25 through 21. And I do want to let you know, West Virginia is in the top 30. They did not quite make the cut. Also, Duke is like number 26. So Duke almost got in the top 25 this week. So anyone asking where they are, that's where. Maryland was not rated last week. Maryland, top 25. Hello. Got Utah 24, Wisconsin 23. Miami only dropped one point. They dropped four spots, only dropped one point. I would explain that to you, but it would take a long time. Um, So ask the model, and it won't answer because it doesn't even have its own email address. Louisville is 21. So Louisville's Louisville's continuing to rise. They've risen three weeks in a row, I believe. Uh, They didn't rise a ton because we got what we thought we'd get out of Louisville. Like the model thought Louisville would beat Notre Dame. So Louisville did what the model already expected it to do. Therefore, because it was expected, there was nothing baked into the model's power rating this week that wasn't already there. Let's go top 20. Uh, We got LSU is still at 20. You notice something. You notice this time last week, there were a ton of folks all over me because I had a two-loss LSU team in the top, top 20 and didn't have undefeated Missouri rated at all. And none of those people showed up this week. Did something happen between those two in Missouri's own building? Did something, I don't know. Something must happen. Anyway, so LSU is still 20. You are not what your record says you are in this sport is what I'm trying to say. That's why we do power ratings and not rankings. LSU is 20. Uh, Clemson, Clemson struggled against Wake last week. And we expected Wake to hang with them. Wake was a 21-point dog. Clemson only scored 17, I think. So that was tough. So Clemson dropped a little bit to 19. UCLA's at 18. Still love them. Southern Cal, we are not as high on them as Vegas. We are not as high on them as the AP. We got them at 17. Ole Miss is at 16. We roll on. Top 15. Uh, Notre Dame is virtually unchanged because Notre Dame did what we thought they would do last week. They lost and it was situational. We would favor, as you can see, we got Notre Dame still ahead of Louisville. We would favor them against Louisville if they played again today. It was just a situation thing last week. That's not to take anything away from Louisville. Good team. But if you don't get it at this point, I I don't really know that I can explain it to you. Oregon State's at 14. A&M is at 13. A&M largely gave us what we thought we would get last week. Uh, we're not going to drop them a huge amount for being within one possession of Alabama. It's just kind of what we thought we'd get. I mean, I, I leaned A&M to win the game. It wasn't really a strong convicted pick or anything like that. So A&M's at 13. Once again, um, you watched A&M lose a game. Your gut reaction is they should fall a whole lot. And if I were an AP voter, I would drop them. Merit does not matter. In power ratings, it does not matter. And if you if you're if you're bent sideways about that, I I don't really know what to tell you. I'm not advocating for this to be how the playoff committee should should operate. In other words, like if I were a playoff committee member, I wouldn't have A and M thirteen. This is not what this is at all. Tennessee's twelve. Look at North Carolina. North Carolina bordering on top. 10 contention here. They're at number 11 right now. They play Miami this week. At least we view that as a top 25 matchup. Uh, Top 10 time. This will be interesting. Florida State's still at 10. I I need to tell you something because I I keep getting a lot of comments that FSU is too low. Jesse, do you know where FSU is in the AP by any chance? Still undefeated. They're four. Okay, they're top five. So it's 
pretty common right now in the, the advanced metrics community, the analytics community. I don't claim to be a part of that, by the way. The model does. I don't. They got FSU lower than we do. FSU is just not a team that profiles well right now. That doesn't matter. You just win your games. That's all that matters. But FSU is at 10 for us. Penn State's at 9. Oklahoma is at 8. I'll explain it in a second. Washington at 7. Ohio State fell a little bit. They fell to number 6. So that gets us to the top 5. And uh, I know what the number 1 style of comment will be this week. So 5-1 to one is Bama, Oregon, Texas, Michigan, Georgia. The number one comment by a mile will be, you claim this is about neutral field favorability, which I do. We just saw Texas and Oklahoma play on a neutral field. We did. Oklahoma won. They did. Why is Texas still ahead of Oklahoma? It's very simple. If they played the game again tomorrow, Texas would be favored. That's it. That's all. Oklahoma deserved to win the game. For all you know, I'd pick Oklahoma if they played again. Oklahoma wouldn't be favored against Texas if they played again. And that is literally all we're trying to do here. Nothing more, nothing less. Lost in all that is Georgia just rocketed right back up to number one. They body bagged Kentucky and they are number one again. And Michigan is as high as we've had them all year. So the model has been slow to come around on Michigan. Uh, Michigan is now ahead of Ohio State. See that? That was not like that. And maybe it won't stay like that, but it is like that right now. Uh, Bama's back in the top five. Uh, the, the one other thing that I'm just I'm interested in is USC being all the way down at 17. Because if that's the case, like if that's accurate, the model would expect USC to have several losses coming up. And if that's the case... Alex Grinch won't be there next year, and if that's the case, Lincoln Riley is going to have a lot of heat on him to make uh, pretty significant changes to his program. I welcome your feedback. Please understand you're not talking about rankings. You're talking about power ratings. 